ability to store speech and, and play it back, which is uh, very, very straightforward. Uh, here we can actually see the words uh, being recognized as, as they're being put together there. Now, speech won't totally replace the keyboard. Uh, we'll still have the keyboard, and we'll have different forms of pointing, including even handwriting uh, that will be used to, to work with these devices in a seamless way. We also saw uh, an advanced use of the business desktop. Uh, here we had a database, but it wasn't like today's databases. It was an object-oriented database. Uh, so it had uh, pictures of the suppliers. Uh, you could just point at the icon there and make contact with that supplier or see your status of orders from them. So everything's kind of integrated together, which by putting the object capability into the file system itself and the operating system, we'll have the ability to pull things together in this fashion. Uh, we clicked up a, a pop-up menu on this, and we chose the common ways we want to filter it, in this case, choosing uh, pre-Columbian. And so the ability to navigate through doesn't require thinking about different forms of storage because all the things have links uh, that span from one to the other. Well, now we're, we're about to see the end. Let's uh, see how this turns out. second. What kind of ending was that? I mean, you know, I, I think in the future, uh, with something like this, you ought to be able to choose the ending. So I, I ought to be able to uh, uh, take, take my little wallet PC here and say that I'd really like to see the alternate ending. Draw the line, my dear. I'll take that. Oh, whoops. That's the trouble with your business. Too many fakes. Book him. Oh, don't forget to read him his rights. You know, I think this thing's solid gold. Lovely. Well, this is a nice look for you. Oh, thanks. Want a latte? If you're buying. The way I bought last time. You did not. So we got our, our happy ending there. The what we've seen here requires a number of things to come together, a number of building blocks uh, to make it all happen. Uh, the first is we need very high-speed networks, and it's going to take lots of competition that has to be unleashed through deregulation to get people building these at full speed. We have the wired network that goes at very high speed, but we also have the wireless network uh, that's being formed through things like the auction that's uh, coming up for the PCS spectrum. We also need a wide variety of hardware, uh, people who can make that little inexpensive small device. Uh, some of those will have voice capability, some won't. Uh, the screen displays will come in, in every size you can imagine, wall-sized, notebook-sized, desktop-sized, 
uh, and many companies will, will participate in that. And these include classic consumer companies as well as uh, all the PC companies. We'll also need a lot of uh, new software at the operating system level, at the authoring tool level. Uh, we've got to really empower uh, people who are not technologists to reach in and do their work here. And that's a ripe area with, with a lot of uh, uh, new ideas and, and simplicity being brought to that authoring environment. And most importantly, we need great applications and services. Uh, this means uh, hospitals thinking about how they can be involved, or any company that uh, sells their products, thinking about how they work together with their uh, customers. Now, I'd say that we are seeing excellent progress in every one of these areas. Uh, that's what makes me confident that a decade from now it will have been brought together. On the software side, uh, the excitement and innovation around both CD and online services uh, is a big part of where the new ideas are, are coming out. Uh, we have a number of, of new startup companies doing CD titles and, and bringing them to all sorts of subject areas. Uh, for example, we have a 3D landscape title uh, from books that work, uh, where you can not only design what your garden looks like, you can see what it's going to look like as it grows uh, years into the future. Uh, for kids, uh, we have a title, Freddy the Fish, uh, that comes from Humongous Entertainment. Uh, it takes the animation and graphics capabilities of the PC to a new level uh, by sitting on top of, of some of the, the elements in the uh, graphical system. Uh, another great new title from 7th Level, who's done very state-of-the-art anim animation, is Amani Python. Uh, this man title. is no ordinary man. Uh, and of course, that draws on the uh, TV series and the movies that were done there. Uh, besides startup companies, we have classic media operations also saying, how can they take the work they do uh, in different mediums and use interactive as part of that? Uh, so from Turner, uh, working together with Swift, uh, we have their Gettysburg uh, title, where they put out an interactive CD that goes along with the uh, movie and, and TV show. Another example of this is the Discovery Channel, uh, which when they did their Normandy series, put out uh, a CD that let you interact, get into a lot of depth that simply wouldn't fit into the, the length of the TV show. The CD gives us a way of having lots of information and audio and video together. Another uh, platform for innovation certainly is, is network and dial-up. On the internet, we're seeing an explosion of, of web-type pages. Uh, even the, the White House has recently come up and uh, did some excellent work. They let you uh, listen to Bill Clinton, uh, go out and see different government agencies, fill out forms. Uh, and everybody's getting involved, even small companies. Uh, one of my favorites out there is a, a little company called Virginia Diner. Uh, lets you uh, click and see pictures of their famous peanut brittle. Uh, you can even fill in a form and order that, and, and they'll send it to you uh, right away. It's this kind of experimentation of what's popular, how should it be presented, um, getting the tools out there, uh, that's going to get us to the critical mass of information that makes people want to have electronic access everywhere they go uh, every day. The impact of all of this uh, is quite substantial. It's not just movies on demand. People think of it uh, that way and, and they, they mislead themselves because that alone would not be enough uh, to justify this investment. Uh, people think of it as computing, but I think that also misleads us because it's not really about compu computing. If it's about any one thing, it's about communications, taking today's phone system to a new level.